Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. Oh my goodness. Game day can't get here soon enough. It's Friday night. I just got finished with my live stream. My apologies. I found out what the problem is. I have a cable. Uh, I, I'm starting to... Since I got the piece from Collector's World and from Zeppelin fan. That piece looks so good, and I now understand exactly what my wife's been talking about. Don't tell my wife. Don't tell her that she was right, okay? But she was right. She says, you got too much stuff, and it just looks cluttered. And I always say, it's my stuff. I like it. Everything has meaning to me. You know, so after seeing the way he put all those things together. It made me think differently on everything that is in my man cave. So I started rearranging things. I got some smaller uh, mouses because a lot of the stuff that's on my desk is to help hide all of the stuff that's there. Because there's two computers, there's two cell phones that are on like a, um, a you know, a, a little stand there. So that way I can control the cameras. There's two keyboards. Well, one's a keyboard. One is actually a switcher for the cameras and things but anyway there's a lot of stuff there so having a lot of the stuff that's there helps to hide all that and uh you know so you don't see the wires and everything else okay but it's made me want to reorganize it so i moved the microphone around and things like that and apparently because that's the microphone i've had for like the last three years it's the first micro real microphone that i ever bought from moving it around so much because you guys see me moving and moving and moving the cable got bad and that's where the <laughs> was in the system so found out that's the problem so um changing the cable to it and i'll get that squared away so i apologize i i try hard but there's just not enough time to be a husband be a father be uh, self-employed and to try and really do youtube and build the studio and continue to try and grow. I, I try. I really and truly try. I got up this morning, 6 o'clock. I've drove 300 miles. Um, I've tried to keep up with the Cowboys. And, of course, getting home, get something to eat, go down and do the live stream, and you're hoping everything goes seamlessly, but sometimes it just doesn't. But there's just not enough time. And that's the amazing thing about football. Van Der Esch, He's got a neck injury. And that's one of those things that you don't want to have as a neck injury. You're talking about beyond football. You're talking about life after football. And a neck is one of those things you don't want to play with. I have no idea what's wrong with the neck, how severe it is, or anything like that. But that's one of those things that can shorten a career. You don't have but so much time in football. Alex Smith did not think that you know, the year before was going to be his last. He didn't think going to that game that that was going to be the last game he was going to play. Nobody does. Nobody knows. But you only have so many hits in your body. You can only play so long. Your body will only be able to compete at that elite level for X amount of time. And you cannot waste your time. You have to grab everything while you're still able to. And right now, look. Everything the Cowboys want is still right there in front of them. You may not believe it. But I'm hoping and I'm thinking the thing that used to happen with our teams with Jason Garrett was the first month, month and a half of the season, the Cowboys looked like world beaters. They used to peak early. But by December, that's why we had eight and eight, eight and eight, eight and eight. Literally, we had two weeks to win one game almost every year, and we couldn't win them. We would fall at the end we just did not have steam and I'm not gonna put that on Tony Romo 
because it's collectively as a team. We, we put too much credit to the quarterback and too much blame for everything. But as I look back even at DeMarcus Ware, DeMarcus Ware would always get most of his sacks with the exception of the Super Bowl. Get most of his sacks earlier in the year. By December, he was usually kind of nicked up, beat up, and not as effective. It was collectively as a team. But you look at last year, we were some hot garbage in the beginning of the year. But by the end of the year, we were one of the hottest teams in the NFL. And maybe that is the Cowboys' new M.O. We don't play well in the first half. Second half, we get our shit together. Is it possible that that's <coughs> this team? We lost to the Vikings, a game that could have gone either way. A few calls here, or different calls, it's a different game. And you go home with the win. But could it be that this is where the team starts to peak? You think about last year this time when we ended up beating New Orleans. Nobody gave us a chance in that game. In fact, everybody left us for dead. It's so amazing that right now, how many of the talking heads are now coming around to being on the DAC bandwagon. A couple months ago, they kept talking about how bad he is. Oh, he's trash, man. He's a bum. They shouldn't pay him anything. Now it's like, man, you got to pay him. You got to pay him. MVP candidate. You know, although some will still say, nah, like Jabba the Hutt. But the fact that he is third in the race right now, ahead of an Aaron Rodgers, ahead of a Tom Brady, ahead of a Philip Rivers, ahead of a Carson Wentz, a Jared Goff, from a guy who was a fourth-round draft pick, you as Cowboy fans should be happy as can be. This, right now, is a time that every Dallas Cowboy player, excuse me, not just player, fans too, but every Cowboy player right now should be laser focused and the only thing they should be thinking about is how to knock Tom Brady's teeth in. How to get a win. How to set the tone. You got six weeks. Everything else should go on the back burner. The parties, the, the, the going out your family six weeks a month and a half that's all we're talking about you get laser focused right now on doing one thing and that is being the best team that you can and i guarantee you that if those guys <coughs> that tight-knit group if they do that i'm telling you 53 guys together can't lose. Whew. I can't wait for this game, man. I can't wait. I feel like a kid at Christmas. And I just feel something. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm just overhyped. Maybe I'm delusional. I haven't been drinking or smoking anything, so it's not anything like that. But I just feel this in my bones like I did last year in New Orleans. The next six days. The next six days are the biggest time in Jason Garrett's coaching career. The most important. New England and Buffalo. Got to do it. Time for talk is over. And I'm going to go to sleep. Got to go to the store tomorrow so I can get everything for game day.
Maybe the time will seem like it'll go faster for me being asleep. I want to thank everybody, as always, for all the support. I'll see you in the morning. Turn out the lights. This party's over. They say that all good things must end. Call it the night. This party's over. And the next year we'll do the same old thing. Good night, everybody.